Good morning. It's Tuesday morning here in Cypress Texas. It's nice right now. It's really nice. But boy, it's going to get hot. <laughs> it's just, this is Texas. Right? <laughs> this is like right now is like perfect California weather. If it stayed this way all day. But it ain't going to stay this way all day. It's going to get hot. Hot and humid. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, yesterday, I, uh, oh, <laughs> I kept running into people saying things that were, that were, like, didn't make any sense. Right? <laughs> and, and it made me think, um, back in 2006, um, I was, I got tickets to go see Zig Ziglar. Um, but then, at the last minute, he got, he had to go. He's the end of his career. And so he didn't show. So the guy in his, repla his place was, uh, guy named Matthew Ferry. I never heard of Matthew Ferry, right? But he, he got on stage uh, Dave and Buster's in Mission Valley, San Diego. And this guy gets up and starts talking about drunk and that's what he called your subconscious programming. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fear based, it's, it's scared of everything, but it's really curious, right? And, <laughs> and it's, it's, it just, it just acts like a drunken monkey, right? And, <laughs> and, and so, uh, it makes me laugh every time. I start dealing with somebody who, you know, is a, like, you, get, you talk to them one day, they're all excited, and, uh, <laughs> the next time you talk to them, it's like they're a person. But they got all excited about it yesterday, it didn't even in their mind today, right, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and they're uh, they're really funny, and I and I figured out this is weird. Like that was the concept. And uh, when uh, what happens when somebody gives you that drunken monkey response? They're they're expecting you. To get um, to get upset, <laughs> all right, and that's going to confirm that they're right, right? That their their response to you, um, you know, that, that they that, that that's, they should get involved. With you, you know, yeah, it, it's you take it too personal, right? And because I know about the trunk of monkey, I laugh. Right, and then that, that message that person like, oh no, they're laughing at me. I don't want them laughing at me. And <laughs> you know, but it, I'm not really laughing at them. I'm really, I'm laughing at the situation. You know how this, how a grown person can let that inner child dictate you. That's what it is, right? Um, everything your subconscious gets compiled the information for your last trimester your mother's room to your seven years old right and that's when you know you start the, the foundation of your subconscious thought gets established um, you're in a, you walk around Theta brainwave. Same state you're in, like 
right when you get up in the morning or right as you fall asleep at night. And uh, you're, you're on receive, receive, receive until, until you're seven. And then seven years old, that's when your discernment kicks in, right? That's when you have, uh, you understand enough where you're like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Last time I did that, I got a spanking. Right, and then, so you don't do that. Right. But um, what happens is when you get enough time for that part of your conscience is is in charge. Very few people mature past seven years old where they, they put their conscious thought in the driver's seat. Right. They uh, they weigh things out logically, and that's how they make their choices. Right? And that little fear-based drunken monkey side of them, they don't give control. Most people don't do that. All right, have a good day.